It's Force Friday. I'm so excited. Star Wars toys, Star Wars toys. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back again with more Force Friday, all day Force Friday. This is like the third video now and I'm doing an unboxing of this thing. It is the first order, but getting it right, first order Stormtrooper Star Wars Force Awakens Micro Machines playset. Now in some of the earlier videos, uh, actually just one or two videos ago, I unboxed this thing and it was the Stormtrooper Micro Machines playset from the mid to early 90s. And it was really cool to see and play with that again because it had been so long. But now there are new ones. There are new Star Wars Micro Machines. There haven't been Micro Machines in stores in years now. Years! And they've come out with a whole bunch of cool new ones. So I've got the Stormtrooper and it is also, it's supposed to be with Jakku, I believe, the planet of Jakku. Looks like Tatooine to me, but it looks like it's supposed to be called Jakku, but it doesn't say so. It's kind of weird because in the old ones they would tell you exactly who the character was and what the playset was portraying. This one said Stormtrooper slash Death Star. This literally just says First Order Stormtrooper. So let's see, it includes a First Order Transporter, which is a cool vehicle you got right over there, and also Poe Dameron figure. So this little set comes with one figure and it comes with one vehicle. Now in the old days this one came with six and one vehicle. And I was mentioning in the other video that as time went on I started to notice that the newer play sets came with fewer figures, which is kind of a bummer. But it looks like they stuck with that tradition with only one figure, one vehicle for 20 bucks. Now these used to cost about $17.99 I believe when they retailed way back in the 90s. I think the latest I bought them was like 96, maybe 97 is when I was still buying them in stores. And they were about 20 bucks, 17, 20 bucks. Sometimes you get them on sale for 13. These are starting at 20 in 2015. $20, $19.99 for these sets. They had other sets like the Star Destroyer and also a Millennium Falcon which were 30 and $40. The Star Destroyer was 40, Millennium Falcon was 30. And they open up and they do really cool, neat things. But I ended up walking out of the store with this one, the First Order Stormtrooper, which looks like Jakku. It says, uh, it, there's nothing, doesn't tell me to battle, anything, nothing. Either way, it flies around. We'll open it up in just a second. The other one I got is R2-D2, and it doesn't tell me, again, what this is, but I'll do that one in another unboxing video. So you guys have to subscribe, you have to give thumbs up, you have to stay tuned for more Star Wars Force Friday. But for right now, let's get into this one. Let's see what it's got. I've got my blade of exact zero that I'm gonna use to open this up, kids. Ask your parents. Tell them I wanna play, Dad. I wanna play with all the cool toys. And, oh, let's see here. Let's put my blade off safely. Let's open this thing. The unboxing. The unboxing is real. It's really happening. Oh, okay. So, kind of nice. If you noticed in my last video, it was a little bit of a struggle to get this all opened. Oh, and this time I opened it and the figure just fell right up. So, that makes things a little bit easier. Let's move the Stormtrooper out of the way a little bit. We'll put the box right there on the side. I've got the new Stormtrooper. So, size a little bit smaller. When you compare them, a little, a little smaller. But it's already put together. And the other one, I had to put stuff together. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, before I do that, I've got my little mini figure. I'll put him on top of there. You still probably can't see him because of how little he is. Oh, please tell me these just pop right out. Last time it took me like 10 minutes. Sweet. So the nice thing about this is the new ones open right up. It's already put together. I don't have to put stickers on it. Let's see what the instructions say. Oh, they tell me how to open it. How to do things. There's a little locking mechanism back here that lets me pull it apart and set it up. Ah, uh, that's that's really cool. All right, so number one tells me just how to do that, how to pull the little lever on the back. Number two is more about that. It says hold it down on the bottom, so let's put it back together like this. He snaps, right? There's this little flappy thing on the back. And I do this. And he opens up. Three just shows it opening up. Four says, look at this little swivel arm thing that moves like so. Huh? What? Okay, okay. I need, to, I need to calm down here. I need to slow down a little bit because this is getting to be too awesome. All right, let's put this on there. How does it work, how does it work? What do I do, what do I do? Oh, okay, maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's cool. So look, this little transporter flies around in circles. Oh, it goes all the way up, there it goes. <laughs> That's, oh, and then it goes as low as that so we can pick up somebody. That's kind of cool. And then as it goes up, it flies around. 
fly, transport. That's really sweet. I'm gonna bust out the GoPro for this one so you guys can see it up close. Uh, so that is step number four. Let's see here. Can I record? Yeah. Awesome. So this is just an up close view. You guys can see all the little, there's like a little hut in there. A little place to live. There's cool little, see look at this little ball thing right here. And you turn it and he goes around in circles. And he flies. And notice there's like these little ridges on there. So when it hits down here, it drops significantly lower. It's like really, really close to the ground so you can make him fly around. And I guess you could put it the other way around too and make him fly the opposite direction. Notice there's a little tiny sticker there. There's some weird little droid figures here and there. And I've got my my other figure over here of Mr. Live up with Poe Dameron. Is that who we're looking at? Poe Dameron. What does that say? Yes, that is Poe Dameron. We'll get a little up close view of him in his, what I'm assuming this is Jakku playset. You kind of see him, he's a little out of focus, but that's okay, I'm really up close. But this is the set, it's really cool. It doesn't have a whole lot going on. It looks like the directions are telling me that that is the only thing that I can see on here. Yeah, the directions are saying, let's put the transport on there, turn the thing with your finger, and it flies around. Play, step four, play. So that's literally, oh, no, there's more. Oh, and how to close it. So to close it up, you take this off, right? You take it off. We take this little, this little stick thing. See, when it was extended, it was all the way at the top. You can see it in there, that little clear ball goes down and it drops down there. So you pull it all the way up to play with it. And then you pull it all the way like that and you can play with it. But to put it away, you pop it down, all the way down to the bottom. It kind of hides in this little secure spot. And then you can, oh, see, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. And I don't know if this will hold the figures very well, but we'll find out here in just a second. Maybe Poe can go hang out in his cool little hut. His little Poe hut. Okay, so as I oh, push down, Poe flies down to the bottom. Let's see if I can just slip that in there. Yeah, good enough. And it should close up. It does close up. Well, it kind of closes up. There we go. Set that down. You can see Mr. Cool Trooper. That's pretty neat. And then this thing folds back down. So he just sits there. Whoa, everybody. And that is pretty cool. That is really neat. So side by side comparison, I gotta say the original Stormtrooper does quite a bit more. It just, I mean, it just does, look at it, look at it, it does so much more. Oh, there's characters missing. They're all hiding in the back. Take a look. This is kind of the nice part of the original one. It has this little thing, you can shake it. It had a built-in compartment where all the little figures were. And you could also hear it if you were missing one. But this one opened up to be about this big. This new one, we'll set that right there. It's a little heavy for it, but that's okay. This new one, I'm just gonna dump all my figures right in the trash compactor. All right, new one, let's open them up again one more time. I like this, how it works. You pull it back, it falls out, everything's there. It's a little bit bigger area-wise as far as like how much space it takes up, but it does significantly less. Now, the thing, I think the reason it, that they don't have as many figures is because they want you to buy these little expansion sets. And these things run five bucks each and it's got three vehicles. Some of them have tiny little figures. They've got other bigger sets with minifigs and more vehicles and those run $10 each. So you kind of need to buy those in order to use with your new set and play with them. So let me just set this back up one more time. It is pretty cool though. And I know when the kids get up in the morning, they're gonna be like, dad, I wanna play with all the Star Wars stuff. Like, no, it's mine, my Star Wars. You don't play with it. No, I'll let them play with it. I'll let them play with it. Uh, this is really cool though, I like it. I like how it moves, it looks neat. I kind of like how it moves. It's a little janky, but I think it's supposed to be like that on purpose. Because, uh, you know, for flight reasons. I think that was definitely on purpose. I think this transport thing, and it's supposed to be a first order transport, I think it's gonna end up like crashing or something like that on Jakku. And so that should make it kind of interesting. There's a big hole right there. What does that hole do? Who knows? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having fun on Force Friday, watching everybody's cool unboxing videos and all the neat stuff. This is really awesome. I'm just super excited for Force Friday. Star Wars The Force Awakens comes out very soon. It's only a few months away. It is the year of Star Wars. We had Star Wars Celebration. You can check out my video for that. It was a lot of fun seeing all the cool Star Wars stuff. We got new Star Wars toys that are coming out. So I'll be doing some more unboxing of these other fine Star Wars products in the next uh, few hours here. I'll be recording them. So stay tuned, subscribe, 
hit the like button. I will see you guys in the next video. May the force be with you. <laughs>